Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. Uh, a little advice, um, don't make the same mistake I have made or other people have made when you first buy a piece of property. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Well, first you gotta get on that piece of property, work it, um, and make some hard decisions. Because a lot of people have gone in there thinking, oh, we'll put the house there, they've cleared all the trees, and then realize, no, they don't want the house there. So it's gonna take some time for you to think about what you want to have on your property, how you're going to lay your property out. It's going to take time. Uh, don't make the mistake, well, I need a storage building and get a storage building built real quick because then you realize, oh, I should put the house there. It will happen to you. Um, this is my dark side. I've done a video on it. Um, how do you store things? I'm a big uh, salvager. Uh, everything you pretty much see here has been salvaged uh, except the John Deere. Um, this is a one way you can those were greenhouse hoops. They're a little bit rusted um, I use those in a black tarp and you'll get a couple years out of that tarp uh, Right here is in really uh, a lot of shade when the trees get uh, Leafed up so it helps if not it's hard to get a couple years out of a tarp. So this is what I was doing um, a lot of stuff can be outside uh, those doors keep your eyes open for commercial doors uh, the glass in them is awesome. If you're building a little cabin or uh, just a little storage building, you take the glass out, and it's really nice quality glass, and then you can put it horizontally as a window. Um, and I can get a lot of that stuff for free, so look around. It makes a big, almost like a picture window. So a lot of stuff like bricks and fencing can stay outside, the blocks. Um, but this is what I just got. I've, I've seen these on Craigslist or um, Facebook Marketplace, and, and a lot of times they're very cheap. People put them up, and then they're either renting or they're moving, and they need them gone, and they sell them pretty re reasonable. I've never bothered with them because I thought they are going to be a pain to take down and put back up, but actually they're so easy, uh, mind-boggling easy. Uh, this one we got for free. All we had to do is go take it down. It got hit. And that left corner was hit by a car and just crushed. And everything was shifted and out of whack. Um, so we went and took it down. It took us about an hour, me and my son. It was uh, surprisingly how easy. Uh, two highly motivated guys in an hour can have this thing on the ground, on the trailer, and strapped down. So we put it up. Um, it's not totally square plumb because it got racked pretty well. You can see that was a screw there. Um, so we just got this side to do, and we were caulking any, any holes. Um, but for free, it works great for part of my storage plan for my dark side. Even storing some extra wood in here, the tractor fits in here, building supplies, stuff that I can get um, on sale. I like the place for it. So this works out good. This building was absolutely free. The neat part about this, even if you can't get one for free and you bought a piece of property and you're so confused on where you're putting stuff, what you're doing, put one of these up. The reason is in an hour or so you can take it down, you can move it to another location on your property, find another piece of flat ground or make a little bit of flat ground. So I recommend this before you do anything because you are going to clear trees and you're going to cut it up. You might as well put it somewhere because it might take you years to use it by the time you get around or building a house or a small cabin. And if you just leave all that wood you just cut down, it can get wrecked. Um, so this gives you a place to store it. There's so many manufacturers that put these up, so look for them. I recommend this is the first structure you put up. Um, we're going to add one more piece of metal on each side to keep the rain from coming in. But this is what I recommend. First structure, you might want to buy one of those pre-built uh, storage sheds. And those are all right because you could move that if you had a piece of equipment. You could move it. But this, you don't have to have any equipment. Uh, a, a husband and wife team could get up here and take this down in an hour or two and put it up elsewhere on their property. Uh, first thing get dry storage uh, get things so you can put stuff out of the weather most important thing prepping thanks for watching